Today on Sledhead 24-7, we venture off the beaten trail and test ride the Skidoo Freeride 137 with our motion. A sled with some backcountry attitude. Mac and Fish have a test session with an in-depth sled evaluation. And Skidoo's plug and play feature can't make it any easier to accessorize. We'll add some accessories out of BRP's catalog that make going the distance comfortable and convenient. Later, make your sled handle better with CNA Pro Skis. Jeff installs a set and has some tips for making installation a breeze. And finally, the Warriors of Winter are midway through the season, and we'll find out how Polaris Racing brings it from the track to the trail. All that and more coming up on Sledhead 24-7. We've got the biggest, baddest snowmobiles money can buy from the OEMs, and we have talent fish. I'm RMR, and you're watching Sledhead 24-7. Welcome to another episode of Sledhead 24-7. I'm your host, Carly Applin, reporting from Pro Power Sports in Ramsey, Minnesota. Coming up first, we're going to head over to the garage where Jeff Fisher is going to show us how you can make your sled handle even better with CNA Pro Skis. Hey, thanks, Carly. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to install some skis on our new Polaris Pro RMK. Not to say those skis are bad that are on it, but you know, here at Sledhead 24-7, we like to try the latest and greatest. And the guys at CNA Pro Skis have given us just that with their Boondocker Extreme, or the BX like we call them. And what this ski will do is it has a nice deep keel so it's great in the tight corners in the soft snow, but yet they shorten the back of the ski. So what it does is when you're side hilling, you're counter steering. If the ski's too long, it's going to want to set you out of your side hill. So this ski works great for side hilling. So that being said, let's just show you how easy they are to put on. You don't necessarily need a jack, I just like to use it, it makes it a little easier and I like easy. Uh, other than that, really the only thing you're going to need is maybe a socket set and some wrenches just to be able to remove the stock skis and then to install the new bolts on the CNA Pros. Now that we have the stock skis off, there's just a little prep work to do, putting carbides on as well as some of the collars. Put these collars from the inside in the spindle area into each ski. To make sure the spacers are in all the way, one thing I like to do, take one of the washers that you're using for your outer washer with the vice grips or channel locks. Maybe you're using this so you don't mar up the plastic. You just give a little squeeze and what that'll do is help pull these, pull these spacers into the skis nice and tight. And what's really nice with the CNA Pro skis, there's a lot of different manufacturers that do make carbides, especially for these skis. But the choice here at Sledhead 24-7 is the Stud Boy Shaper Carbides. These bad boys work well. Another really cool feature with the CNA Pro is, is you can get different color skis as well as different color loops. So you can accent your sled to whatever you want to do. You want to make sure you get the rubber in the right way. You got a 50-50 chance. And in this case, in the players, the taller part goes towards the back, sits down inside a cup in there for the spindle. Now we're ready to install the ski. So the next step is actually get the ski under the spindle. And what I actually found the easiest to do is to let the weight off the sled so that the weight of the sled is pushing down on the rubber makes it a little easier to use the weight of the sled to install the ski. You know, and also depending on what model you have, some, uh, some of the CNA Pro mount kits, you'll have to put some, they'll give you washers that will go between the spindle and the ski to help pull some of that so you're not squishing the ski in when you tighten it. Put the washer up right up towards the ski. Start your bolt, grab a four by four, two by four, stick it under the edge of the ski. And actually what you can do is turn and push down until you get the bolt to line up so you can drive it through. Big outside washer, your nylock nut. One thing I always do too after your first time you ride it, don't be afraid to put a wrench on it, just give it another snug, make sure that it hasn't moved or anything is set in in the plastic. CNA Pro skis make so many different styles, colors of skis. 
depending on the terrain from snow cross to mountain to even the little 120s, go on to cnaproskis.com and find out what ski is right for you. Still ahead, Carly and Fish accessorize a Skidoo Renegade with ease. With Skidoo's plug and play feature, it makes it simple to add any accessories out of the BRP catalog. And later, Mac and Fish test the Skidoo Freeride 137 with R Motion, a very robust sled with lots of features to keep you having fun on and off the trail. And we hit the track spinning and catch up with Polaris Racing. Stay tuned. Sledhead 24 7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Polaris, terrain domination. Ram, guts, glory, ram. Fox, redefining ride dynamics. And by Stud Boy, traction with an attitude. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7. I'm Carly Evelyn along with my co-host Jeff Fisher. Now Jeff, the 2014 Skidoo Freeride has been reborn this season and might I say a very robust sled. Yes it is. It's specifically designed around the rider that wants to be off trail or powder play and it's, there's key features in that RS chassis that makes taking those big hits very easy. Well Fish, let's get to it. Take a look. Okay, we're up in the upper Midwest, riding and evaluating. Polly, we got some great snow today. Yes, we did. We got a couple feet of fresh powder, and we've got the new Skidoo Free Ride 137, 16-inch wide track. This thing floats, it hits bumps, it takes us anywhere we want to go fish. Yeah, and then some places you probably shouldn't be. But I tell you what, this thing is like a race sled and a summit met with this 800 E-Tech, it's on steroids. It really is, it pulls so hard, it's so nimble, it's narrow in the front end, carving through the trees, it's just a blast to ride. You know, it is a blast to ride, and I think we should go ride it and let everybody know what we think. The first thing I do when I get on this free ride is, I wanna jump something. You're just looking for something to jump, because the suspension is so plush, and it takes the big hit so well, you just wanna ramp off of something. The Skidoo Freeride 137 also has the 800 E-Tech. That engine is phenomenal. It's quiet, it's powerful, it's very linear. With the 800 E-Tech and the more aggressive track that these have on them, these things hook up and the zero to 80 is just phenomenal. It pulls very hard from the initial engagement of the clutch all the way through. There's no peakiness with the pipe, no RPM changes. It pulls fantastic. This thing's designed for hitting massive bumps, dropping in. I mean, just bashing and crashing. The rider position on this sled, you want to stand up a little more. It's got the summit bars with the summit riser. I like it, the handlebars are much taller. Your gauges are down in the console flat. So when you're standing up and looking down, the visibility is fantastic. But what's really neat over the summit, it's got big, wide running boards. So for a guy backcountry riding and hitting the bumps, you've got a lot of choices to where to put your feet. So out here boondocking and putting your leg from side to side, jumping back and forth, that's what it's for. What this suspension is modeled after the race sleds, but yet it has a 137 arm motion and makes the adjustability and the small bump ride as well as the big crush bumps with this sled is great. It's got a, a much narrower seat and shorter. But you gotta remember, you go on the Skidoo accessory book, they have different seat options, they have different bag options, they have different windshield options. So you can dress this up and make it more for your riding style. This thing is designed for boondocking, cutting in and out of trees and jumping and hitting big bumps. The person who'd really love the Skidoo free ride is a person who's going off, doing a little off trail, hitting some obstacles, and want to ride a little more aggressive. The power of the 800 and the suspension is really great for taking the big hits. Still ahead, with the plug and play feature from Skidoo, Carly and Fish accessorize the Renegade with ease. And how much technology from the track gets to the trail. Polaris Racing has the inside scoop. Stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by KNN, 
the world's best air filter. FXR, world-class outerwear. Arctic FX graphics, make it yours. GoPro, be a hero. Michelob Golden Light, you're golden. And by Skidoo Snowmobiles. Welcome back, SLED fans. I'm Carly Applin, along with my co-host, Paul Mack. Now, Paul, as a former racer, do you think that racing today is far greater than when you were on the track? Oh, absolutely. The evolution of the machine is so incredible. It's not just a machine, it's a track. They, they're much more technical, they're much more difficult. You can jump farther, you can jump higher, and it used to be there's a lot of mechanical failures with the machines. We're not seeing that at all anymore. Very rarely is a mechanical failure. So what's happened is the athlete has to be in so much better condition and able to keep up with this machine. And let me tell you, it's tough. Very, very true. Now let's hit the track and take an inside look at Polaris Racing. I can honestly say I'm a diehard Polaris guy. I, I don't even bother looking anywhere else because they're so great to work with. As a company, I know that the products they're gonna put out are better than anybody else will come up with. My relationship with Polaris is absolutely amazing. You know, I've literally rode Polaris my entire life. To work with them and, and to have their support is, is absolutely amazing. The Polaris is lightweight, it's real durable, and I just, I couldn't ask for a better sled. If you watch some of the races and hole shots, I mean, nine times out of 10, there's a Polaris pretty much in the one or two spot. I've been racing the Polaris for the last 12 years of my career and I wouldn't change anything about them. The sled's always reliable, it has tons of power, and there's never a doubt in my mind it's going to do what I want it to do. One of the coolest things about snowcross racing is we're putting the sleds through absolute torture. But you will never put a snowmobile through the torture that the riders do out on the snowcross track. I have the world record for the longest jump on a snowmobile at 412 feet and I was the first person to jump anything over 400 feet. Polaris had, had put one of their top guys on it to develop the fuel injected engine that we used and we just had a, a great team of people and, and uh, you know without that there was absolutely no way we would have been able to do a jump that big. So an example how we use racing to develop our trail sleds is our, our current front end IFS suspension on our ProRide Polaris sleds was all developed and, and designed through racing, tested and proven through racing. Polaris, I believe, by far and away has the best race department in the industry. A lot of the shock technology that we currently use on our ProRide suspensions was developed and proven through racing. In the shop here in Wausau, we have three teams, uh, Team LaValle, Hentges Racing, and Jetic Motorsports that are all based out of the shop here. We race all weekend and on Monday morning when we, we're back at the race shop, we have a meeting with all of the crew chiefs and the race director for Polaris, Tom Rager. It kind of allows us to be on our own island. We can kind of develop things that we want to develop. We have a vast pool of knowledge, a lot of experience, uh, all working together and finding the next best thing that can make us go around the track faster. We in the race department are always fine-tuning and, and trying to develop better products. Players is an awesome company. They give us all the necessary tools, parts, sleds that we need to go out and win races. The equipment is, is unbelievable. It's non-stop no matter what. In track conditions, everything's, there's always something to be changed for sure. It's way cool that they utilize what we're doing with racing. I mean, in my mind, it's part of the reason that you, that you go racing is to help develop the, the trail sleds and the hill climb sleds and so forth. Well, our research and development starts in basically April. Kind of right when the season ends in Geneva, we're always developing the next year's sleds, getting on the dyno and developing our motor packages, seeing what changes we can make. So we're always trying to better the sled and better Polaris as a whole. If this is working for the race department and these sleds can take this kind of beating, they want to use that in their consumer sled. It's exciting to see something we did, that we tested through racing and proved through racing make its way to the consumer sleds. Still ahead, Carly and Fish accessorize the Skidoo Renegade with products from BRP. With their plug and play feature, it sure does make it easy to install anything right out of the accessories catalog. Stay tuned. 
Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Arctic Cat, share our passion. C&A Pro Skis, ride like a pro. Bully Dog, more power, more pull, more bully. Spy, see better, feel better. And by Speedworks, straight up USA horsepower. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7. We're hanging out at Pro Power Sports in Ramsey, Minnesota, and I'm with Todd Amar, who's gonna tell us what you can expect when you come into Pro Power Sports. Well, Carly, Pro Power Sports is your complete four-season fun center. We sell everything from motorcycles and ATVs to snowmobiles and personal watercraft. We also have a complete complement of all the parts that keep them going, and we have a complete service department with certified technicians to keep things rolling. And where can people find more information? On our website at propoweronline.com. Thanks so much for having us out here today. We've had a lot of fun. Thank you. <laughs> now, we're gonna show you how easy it is with Skidoo to install accessories that make your ride that much more enjoyable. Here we are, Fish, hanging out in the garage, getting ready to work on the sled. But first, we wanna talk about how Skidoo really designs their sleds and accessories at the same time to make for plug and play. And let's tell everyone what plug and play is. Well, plug and play, what you can do is, Skidoo makes the harness adaptable to their accessories. So you unplug a plug-in and plug in their accessory cord. As far as any kind of drillings needed, everything's embossed either in plastic or metal. Makes it real easy. Easy follow instructions. You drill your holes. There's no templates, no measuring. It is just that. Then you plug it in and you get to go play. Very convenient for you to customize your sled because those accessories are really integrated into the design. So let's show them just how easy it really is. We got a sled back here. Let's go try it out. Fish, I see a lot of parts here. So tell us what we're going to be installing today. You know, we're going to look at some different windshield options with different heights. We're going to also install our glove box extension. And what this does is it holds the Garmin Montana GPS. We also have an auxiliary lighting, which if you've ever ridden at night, a little extra light. These are good. This makes it even better. We have a 12 volt power source. We're going to show how easy it clips in as well as how easy the link system is with our jerry can and bag accessories. We've got a lot to do today, but I think it's going to be so easy. It won't take us any time at all. Okay, Carly, first thing we need to do is start with this uh, disassembly. Why don't you pop the windshield off? Easy, very easy. There's six torque screws. We have this off, put them up in our little pouch. Quick plug in here for the meter. Now we have our whole top off. Carly, you got the drill, so all I need you to do is drill the two holes so we can screw it on. And you notice the hole, they're already marked, so it's really easy for her to do. Now let's mount the extension on and this part of the project's done. As Fish finishes up with the glove box extension, we're gonna get ready to disassemble the sled so that we can add the auxiliary LED light. Okay, we have the hood unbolted. For the lighting, there's actually a quick plug in. Now the headlights unplug, that simple. One last thing to do is the air intake for the air box. There's a quick disconnect with the spin and a plug-in connection there. You have that, that unclipped. And now you can actually just pull the hood right off. Okay, we got the headlight off the airbox. Now, now we're set to put our auxiliary light in. So what we're gonna do is, basically what the light does, it fits right up on the bottom of this. And what we need to do, Carly, is just take and put some of the fasteners through. Now be careful not to over tighten them, it is just plastic and they are nylock, so they'll be just fine. I'm running the wires for the auxiliary light, and each of the colored wires is color coordinated to match the numbers on the switch, and so it makes it very easy to install. Now, this is where the plug and play comes into place. You're putting the existing wire into the auxiliary one. That easy. Okay, I got the auxiliary light mounted. Hood is back together with the headlight and airbox all mounted on. Now we're going to put it back on the sled and plug it in. Air sensor's plugged in, heard it click. Hood's on, ready to be bolted on. Now we're gonna finish up our wiring. Now Carly showed you previously how easy it was to plug in. Okay, we got our auxiliary wire here. And where does that plug into Carly? Right here. Right there. We have our new harness. Okay, now we can put our dash cover back on. We got our glove box extension on there. Just make sure the wires are, are tucked to the right here, pushed out of the way. Otherwise, it's gonna fight you a little when you go to plug it in. Plug your meter back in, make sure it's on there tight. You're ready to go. You know, Carly, you, you, know, you talked about wanting a bigger shield, and you know, we had that smaller one on here. 
here it gives a little more hand protection, a little more wind protection that way. And there again, basically put it on with just the rubber grommets. That easy. Okay, Carly, now we're gonna install our link system. And tell us what that link system is. Well, link system actually is a, a way you can carry cargo bags or jerry cans, you know, gas cans. Very simply, very convenient. It, it's so easy how they clip in, and I'll show you. Tighten these up. We got all four of them on. Once that is tightened up, this is what it's all about, hauling gear like this, fast, easy, convenient. Oh yeah, you know, we'd like to carry some gas with us. Basically, you hook this in the link system. You got a latch on this side to latch it down with a safety strap. It's just that easy. And there you go. What a perfect example Skidoo does of plug and play. Okay, Carly, we've got our sled done. We've enhanced the lighting up front better wind protection, and that cool link system in the back. That's right, Fish. The plug and play system is fast and convenient. Make sure to pick up your own accessories to customize your sled. Check out Skidoo online or grab their catalog. That was simple, quick, and pretty easy. Sure is, Carly, and that's what Skidoo strives for in their products. They want to make sure it's efficient, ease of installation, and high quality, and Skidoo does a great fish. That's right, all their plug and play is just that, from their gas cans to their bags to their lights, just makes it simple because you can never have enough features. Well, we're almost out of time for this edition of Sledhead 24-7. I'm your host, Carly Applin, along with my co-hosts, Jeff Fisher and Paul Mack. We want to thank Pro Power Sports for having us out here today, and a thank you to all of our sponsors. Make sure to check us out online at sledhead24-7.com and like us on Facebook. For all of us here at Sledhead 24-7, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. On the next episode of Sledhead 24-7, Right along as Mac and Fish evaluate a couple of sleds from Articat and Polaris. Speedworks does some high elevation testing on their new product line. And we hit the track and highlight some intense racing action on the snowcross circuit. All that and more next week on Sledhead 24-7. Hey Sledders, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube for the latest episodes, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and of course, check us out on sledhead24-7.com, and who knows, you may just ride with us this season.